Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alex and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install VirtualBox on Windows 10. Many of you don't know what's a VirtualBox, so I'm going to tell you right now what it is. So a VirtualBox is a virtual machine that you can uh, run multiple operating systems on your computer. So let's say you want to run or download Windows 8.1, 7 or even XP or even less or even older versions um, you can run and you can run them on the virtual box so you don't have to buy a new computer so um, so for today I'm gonna download the Windows, Windows 8.1 because I already have Windows 10 so no need to download the second operating system the same for, for example um, for the websites I'm gonna link them in the description so for the virtual box you're gonna click download virtual box 6.0 and here I'm gonna click the Windows hosts and I'm gonna download. I'm gonna I'm already having downloaded, so I'm gonna cancel it. Um, we do not need that. And right here, well, I'm gonna have the Windows download Windows 8.1 disk image in the description. So choose your uh, Windows 8.1 edition. Um, I'm gonna choose the language. I'm gonna click where is English? Ah, oh, damn it! Uh, here it is. Confirm. And it's gonna download installing it. You're gonna choose the 64 bit and it's gonna download it's four gigabytes. Mine took about five minutes because I have very fast internet connection. So it, as it says here, it's valid for only 24 hours, so download it as fast as possible. And for the Windows 7, um, if you do not have the original key, just search up on the internet. Many of these keys may not be valid, so you have to search a bit. Uh, and if you want the Windows 10 how to download the ISO image you're gonna you link you're gonna watch my video go watch my video because I'm gonna have it there it's not going to be exactly for this video but it's gonna show you the Windows 10 ISO image so let's get straight to the video um after you have downloaded you open the virtual box installer I'm gonna click next um do not uncheck every, anything in here let everything default or enabled whatever click next um click again next um, if you want, just uncheck any of the settings. Um, in here it says warning network interfaces. So that means I'm gonna temporarily disconnect you from the internet. Do not worry. This, it's not going to destroy your internet. Just temporarily it's going to disconnect you. So click next and install. So in here it will say the user account control or yeah, whatever the administrator setting. Um, it may not show it in, in the recording, but you're going to click yes. It's going to take about less than a minute, so I'm not going to cut this part. And here it's done. I'm going to put it over here. Um, I'm going to click finish. Uncheck the option if you want to. And here we go. I have already installed, so let me remove it. So I'm going to do it as I was before. So right here, this is how it's going to be when you first open it. You're gonna click new. I'm um, right here in the, in the name. First of all, I'm gonna put Windows 8.1. Sorry for for my for for the keyboard if it makes a lot of sound. I cannot fix that issue. I remove um, as much background noise as possible, but it doesn't really work. So as you write the Windows name, it's gonna automatically change it to whatever you have, like. Windows XP, Windows ME, it has it also, Windows ME or whatever. I'm gonna put Windows 8.1. So um, in here, choose the version you want. It has a lot of Windows Windows versions right here. In the memory size, though, so that's the RAM, how much, uh, change it how much you want. I have 12 gigabytes of RAM, so do not choose all of it because it's gonna be unnecessary. So I'm gonna let default two gigabytes. And here down here, you can click create a virtual hard disk now it's going to be default click create and right here the file size so that's going to be the hard drive how much hard drive space you're going to have so i'm going to let default 4 gigabytes because as you can see i do not have a lot of space 90 gigabytes left um in the hard disk file type you're going to let default vdi and starting on physical hard disk you're going to let dynamically allocated so that's the the final step you're going to click create and you're not done. That, that 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 doesn't mean you have already a working operating system. I'm gonna click settings. I'm gonna go to system. I'm um, here to just let everything default. I'm gonna go to system. Um, all right, here I'm gonna go to processor. So do not 
choose if you have a four core processor do not choose all four cores because uh, for sure it's going to crash your computer so put half your processor and make sure while you're running the virtual box do not have anything on the background open because it's going to lag the virtual machine on um, the execution cap and let it 100 and the acceleration um, default so I'm gonna go to display do not click OK yet in the video memory it's going to be somewhere in here I'm pretty sure or even here I'm gonna put it to max then in mo a monitor count if you, have, if you have like a lot of monitors just change the option um, here in the graphics control I'm gonna let default acceleration enable 3D and 2D so that means you're gonna get more memory so I'm gonna change that 254 56 megabytes I'm gonna enable 2D so that means that means that you're going to take 256 megabytes from your hard drive so it's not really a lot I have 4 gigabytes of VRAM so that's not an issue to me in the storage right now you're going to go to the disk icon next to the SATA port 1 and click choose virtual optical disk if file you're going to choose your ISO image so I'm going to use as I said Windows 8.1 I'm going to click open I'm going to click OK First of all, um, everything else let it default. There's nothing to change. I'm gonna click OK, and right here you are done. You're gonna click Start, and it's gonna run. It's gonna open the Windows, your Windows operating system, and here we have it. Um, it's gonna show you like the Windows installation process as you normally install Windows. Um, I'm gonna have it's gonna it's gonna need you to enter keys so I'm I have in, I have them right here I'm gonna have them also link in the description and here we have the Windows setup so I'm gonna click next choose your time and currency format choose your preferred language um, and right here it only has English for default I'm gonna click in next and install now so unfortunately you can't control V the keys you have to type them um, manually I do not know why so I'm gonna type them right now let me fix it a bit here we go um, the first one it worked for me because I tried it before making the video just to make sure it works here we go I'm not going to cut this part because I'm bad at editing so do not expect me to make a good video good Cut. so after you have typed it click next I'm pretty sure it's going to work and if it doesn't it's you probably have written it uh, incorrectly I'm gonna accept the list license terms I'm gonna click next and here you're gonna click um, not not advanced not not upgrade you're gonna click custom so as you can see I have four, four gigabytes of hard drive so I'm gonna click next and here it's going to download uh, Windows so it's not going to take a while also it depends on how fast your SSD or hard drive is and I'm gonna let it install it's gonna take about let's say three minutes or so it depends also on the version of Windows you have Windows 10 it may take about 10 minutes and I will see you in a bit hey guys I'm back so the installation is done so I'm gonna restart in 10 seconds so I'm gonna click restart now so now you are done so if you see this here press any key to boot from CD or DVD do not click enter or uh, your left mouse key um, it's gonna show you the, the setup again so after you have downloaded it you, you, you delete let me go back because I cannot click start the start key to go back so after it's done uh, installing the setup you go back to the storage and remove the ISO image because it will be unnecessary so right here it's gonna say getting devices ready so before I made the recording um, it took me about 10 minutes to get to the desktop because as you know it's gonna say hi welcome something like that getting things uh, ready for you um, it's not going to take a while so that's the issue I do not know what I'm saying because I'm sick and my mind is not working very good so I apologize for that. Um, 
I do not remember if it says anything else after this getting ready option right here. Let's wait for a bit. Also, as I said in the previous video, um, if you didn't see on my channel on, in the about page how many videos I'm gonna upload per week. Um, as I said, I'm gonna upload one or two videos per week. So this this video is the second for this week. So I'm gonna see a video about in the next couple of days, maybe Tuesday, Monday, who knows. And so um, I do not know what video I'm going to make yet, but if you have any video ideas, tell me in the comment section for Windows 8.1 because um, I have I will keep the virtual box to make Windows 8.1 videos right here uh, and yeah if you have any video ideas tell me in the comments section because my mind is not working and I had a few and um, very a lot of ideas back then but I've forgotten so right here you're gonna say personalize you're gonna click your color I'm gonna let it to blue because it's better um, put your name I'm gonna put Alex I'm gonna click next um, use the express settings if you want to customize them, customize them. Checking your internet connection. Before I made the recording, it, it said to try again, could you find the internet connection, something like that. I do not know why. It's just working fine. Um, it's going to say you to you also just to enter um, your account right here. So I'm not going to try again because I have to enter a um, and my email so I'm gonna create a local so I'm gonna um, add my username so I'm gonna use my username as I use in my names in my games also so password put whatever password you want I'm gonna put one two three four five six and password hint one two three whatever I'm gonna click finish it's gonna check for updates so I'm pretty sure after this part it's gonna say hi do not turn your do not turn your PC off at the bottom right here somewhere there and in the middle of the screen is gonna say getting things ready done something like that yeah there we go so right now it's gonna take about 10 minutes so I'm gonna make this part of the video a time lapse so I'm gonna see you in in about 10 minutes hey guys I'm back and weirdly enough. It took about two minutes after I, I said I'm gonna time lapse it, so no need to time lapse it. I'm gonna just cut it out. Before I did the recording, it took about ten minutes. Whatever. So as you can see here, you have your Windows 8.1 um, Windows right here. Um, I do not know why I can change the resolution. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna change weirdly. I have to scroll down to get to full Windows. As you can see, it's fully well operating fine. Um, and right here, everything works fine. Activate Windows. Yeah, if you want to put your product key, it says right here, product key should be on the box. Why should I activate it? But whatever. So, as you can see, guys, here is Windows, Windows 8.1. Let me back on the desktop. Remove that. It's been a long while since I last used 8.1. So. Thanks for watching guys, like, subscribe and share and I will see you next time. See ya!